Cheers, I do, Buckaroos. How the heck are I? I am Tom the Beer Whisperer as we speak. Hey, I just found this today, a Stan Musial Classic American Lager from Urban Chestnut. Here are the numbers on it. Four and a half percent, 11 IBUs. Tasting notes are light, crisp, refreshing from the Revolution series, meaning it's they're not paying homage to it. I was kind of curious where they were going with this, calling it a Classic American Lager if it would be part of their reverence series, which pays homage to classic styles. Uh, uh, but they're clearly calling this, uh, this from the Revolution series, means that they are taking some liberties. Although it does, I mean, the numbers here, uh, and the ingredients listed are that of the classic American lager. But anyway, anyway, I digress. It uses Pilsner malt and rice, lightens the body. Uh, hops are pearl and tradition, pretty standard. The yeast is their... Urban chestnut, lager yeast, the color is straw. Yeah, they're, they're not kidding. That's exactly what you get from here. And cheers. I'm going to pour a little bit more in here to see if I can get some head retention. I uh, poured with a nice head, and then I didn't pour that hard enough to get any head. Uh, and, <laughs> you ain't going to get any head, Tom. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, uh, using this, my, my stem Pilsner glass here. So the nose is, well, the nose is what it is, I suppose. It's very light. Maybe a little grassy, a little herbal. Yeah, I mean, it's a beer, right? <laughs> yeah, it kind of gives you that, that flavor you might remember uh, from way back when. It's it's kind of what a lot of American macros used to be before they started adding more and more adjuncts and dumbing down the, the American beer drinking public until it's become what it's become. So have a slight lingering herbal aftertaste. It does. It does bring back some memories of, of what I remember beer used to be. <laughs> it does use rice. So rice rice is an adjunct. Uh, so it, it's not an all malt lager. I was hoping they would do an all malt, a classic American style. Although some did use corn and or rice before Prohibition, it, it became more prevalent after. But it really became more prevalent uh, in, in the late 70s into the 80s when you really saw that shift. Um, a lot of the classic American lagers uh, remained uh, all malt for a while there. I remember, I wish I still had one because I used to have a million of them. They all got thrown away over the years. But I remember old Olympia cans used to list the ingredients on a can, malted barley. Then at some point it changed. It used to say malted barley, uh, water, hops, and yeast, I believe. Or hops, yeast, and water, something like that. And then at some point, I think it was right about 80-ish maybe, when it started, when it just read malt. <laughs> malt. Uh, hops, yeast, and water. So, uh, but at one point they actually did list barley malt. This would be a baseball game pounder, though. I don't know what Stan drank, if he drank anything, what he would think of a beer like this. It has just a little bit of sweetness, um, which most of the style had. I'm going to pour the rest of this beer in here. There we go. It's a pint can and uh, well, I thought it was a 10 ounce glass, but it might only hold it. <laughs> anyway, cheers. No, I'm not really. This ain't just a backdrop on my television. I'm not trying to fool anybody. Just trying to get, trying to get the ambiance going, man. Anyway, uh, for a time lately, I'm just, just making it though. So anyway, I am Tommy Beer Whisperer, Beer Vangelist, Prolific Beer Drinker, Prolific Wisdom Man. Biscuits. All right, good guy. Cheers, y'all. Excuse me.